Hello everyone and welcome to Control Engineering and Control Theory Tutorials. In these tutorials we present real and applicable knowledge of control engineering, machine learning, robotics and mechatronics. This is the second part of the tutorial on matrix exponential and control engineering. In this second part we explain how to compute the matrix exponential by using an example. Let us first briefly recapitulate and remind ourselves what we covered in the first part of this tutorial series. Namely, we have shown that the matrix exponential e to the power a t can be computed as the inverse Laplace transform of this matrix si minus a inverse. In this expression, the matrix SI minus A inverse is called the resolvent matrix. In the first part of this tutorial series, we have explained the following. Consider this dynamical system, x dot is equal to AX and let us assume that someone gives us an initial condition. Here, x is n-dimensional state vector. We have shown that the state at the time instant t can be expressed as state transition matrix multiplying x0. Furthermore, we have shown that the state transition matrix is actually equal to the matrix exponential. That is, we have this expression. And if we substitute this expression in this fundamental equation, we obtain the following equation. This equation is one of the most important equations in control theory of linear systems. In this video tutorial, by using example, we will explain how to compute the matrix exponential and how to compute the state at the time instant t for the given initial condition x0. But before I start, I would like to mention the following. It took me a significant amount of time, energy and planning to create this completely free video tutorial as well as almost 300 video tutorials that you can find on my YouTube channel. And consequently, I kindly ask you to press the like and subscribe button. Thanks a lot. Here is the example that we will solve in this video tutorial. Compute the state trajectory of the dynamical system, given over here, given an initial condition in the general form that's given over here. Let's try to solve this example. We have learned that the state trajectory at the time instant t can be expressed as follows. Matrix exponential times the initial condition. The problem boils down to the problem of computing the matrix exponential. There are many ways for computing the matrix exponential. However, we are going to use, in my opinion, one of the simplest approaches. And this approach is based on inverse Laplace transform. In the first part of this tutorial, we explained that the matrix exponential can be computed as an inverse Laplace transform of the resolvent matrix. That is, we need to compute this. Obviously, the first step is to compute the inverse of the resolvent matrix and then we need to compute an inverse Laplace transform of that matrix. So, let's continue. Si minus A is equal to SS00 minus A. Let's see our A. 0, 1 minus 1, 0. 
and as the result we obtain this matrix. And let's write it in the next row actually. S minus 1 1 S Next, we need to compute an inverse of this matrix. Let's do it over here. We need to compute this matrix. There are two ways to compute this inverse. You can apply the standard approach, and the standard approach is to compute the cofactor matrix, adjugate matrix, and then you can compute an inverse matrix. However, since this is a simple 2 by 2 matrix, we can use a simple approach for computing the, its inverse. And here's the general formula, if you don't remember. Let us assume that we have an arbitrary matrix P. And let us assume that P has the entries P11, P12, P21, and P22. What is P inverse? The P inverse is 1 over determinant of P multiplying this matrix. Here, we simply switch P11 and P22. Consequently, over here we have P22, over here we have P11, and we simply change the signs of P12 and P21. And consequently, we will have minus P11. 1, 2, and minus P, 2, 1. And that's a simple formula. Let's apply this formula to our case. What is the determinant, first of all, of this matrix? Let's see. Determinant of SI minus A is obviously, let's see over here, S squared plus 1. Consequently, over here we will write 1 over determinant, and that's s squared plus 1. And what do we have over here? s and s switch places, s and s, since they are identical, and these terms simply change signs. Here we will have plus 1, and here we will have minus 1. So here's our inverse in the nice form. What do we have over here? We have s over s squared plus 1. Over here we have 1 over s squared plus 1. Over here we have minus 1 over s squared plus 1. And over here we have s over s squared plus 1. To make this video tutorial as clear as possible, I raised the previous screen and I will continue over here. Here's our resolvent matrix. We need to compute the inverse Laplace transform of this matrix. That is, we need to compute the inverse Laplace transform denoted like this of SI minus A. Note over here that this expression is not a scalar and it's not a fraction, it's a matrix. The inverse Laplace transform of a matrix is equal to inverse Laplace transform of this entry over here, then the entry 1, 2 is the inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s squared plus 1. Over here we have minus inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s squared plus 1 and the last entry that is the entry 2 2 is the inverse Laplace transform of s over s squared plus 1 to summarize the inverse Laplace transform of a matrix is a new matrix whose entries are inverse Laplace transforms of the entries of the original matrix. To compute these inverse Laplace transforms, we need to remind ourselves of basic formulas for computing the inverse Laplace transform. Laplace transform of sinus 
of AT, where A is an arbitrary scalar, is A over S square plus A square. Laplace transform of cosines of AT is S over S squared plus A squared. Okay, so we need to apply these two formulas. Let's see what happens over here. And let's compare this table. Obviously, this case matches this case over here, and A is equal to 1. Consequently, this term is cos sinus t. Perfect. How about this entry over here? Let's see. We need to compute the inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s squared plus 1. Obviously, this is the rule we need to apply, and a is equal to 1. Consequently, we have sinus t. By using the same principle, it can be shown that this entry is minus sinus t, and this entry is cos sinus t. And that's it. Here, we computed the inverse Laplace transform of our resolvent matrix. Here's our final result. The inverse Laplace transform of the resolvent matrix is given by this matrix, and we know that the inverse Laplace transform of the resolvent matrix is equal to our matrix exponential. Consequently, we can compute the state trajectory as x of t is e to the power a t multiplying x0, 1, x0, 2. And let's substitute this matrix. Over here, we have cos sinus t, sinus t, minus sinus t, and cos sinus t multiplying x0, 1, and x0, 2. And as the result, we obtain cos sinus t, or better, let's write it like this, x01 multiplying cos sinus t plus x02 multiplying sinus t. And the second row of this vector is minus x01 multiplying sinus t plus x02 multiplying cos sinus t. And that's it. We solved our problem. We solved this problem by hand, and this is a very good practice. First, you need to learn how to solve the things by hand. However, since we live in the 21st century, we can easily verify this result by using Python or MATLAB. Over here, I will compute the matrix exponential in Python. For that purpose, I'm using the SymPy, or the symbolic toolbox, and from the symbolic toolbox, I'm importing symbol, matrix, and simplify. Over here, I define my symbolic time, and I define my symbolic matrix M. That's our matrix. Let's see our matrix M, and that's our matrix A. I actually need to do printm. Here it is. Obviously, that's a t. Now, let's compute the matrix exponential. We can simply type m dot exponential, and that will give us the matrix exponential. And finally, let's print the matrix exponential. Here it is. It's cosinus t, sinus t, minus sinus t, cosinus t. And that's precisely what's written over here. Okay, that would be all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I create, please press the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks a lot and have a nice day.